sports on television is a wonderful example of the capabilities of high definition television. I mean, it is really different. And sports is a great way to illustrate how good high definition technology really is. And this afternoon, you'll be a part of history. From NBC5, the first television station in Texas, comes yet another first. The debut of a live, high-definition broadcast of a Texas Rangers baseball game. And today, we have team coverage of this very historical event. First up, our John Radigan. John? Yes, yeah, Scott, i tell you what. History will be made here at the ballpark in Arlington today. We're not sure if it'll be made out on the field, but we know that it will be made around the field. HD or high definition TV will make its debut on a non-experimental television station today as far as broadcasting a sporting event. Now, what will that mean to our viewers? Well, not much yet, but it could mean a great deal very soon. The beeping is no less annoying. But everything else about this HD TV truck is special. It's one of only two in the country that can broadcast a multi-camera live event on high-definition television. An event like, say, a baseball game. I believe that sports is the number one program that will cause all of us to want to run out and buy this TV. And, and it's, it's such a quantum leap. In, in the past, when you bought a bigger television, it meant it may be bigger, but the picture quality was worse. All of a sudden, the consumer can go and get a bigger picture, and it's superior to what they've ever seen before. History will be made here today as Lynn Productions sends out two feeds, one analog, one HD. We're big believers in baseball. We produce the Rangers. We're big believers in digital television and high definition, and we said, what better way to bring them together um, than to do this opening day telecast in high definition? There will be better pictures, better reception, uh, brighter pictures, better sound. It'll be a better living room experience. The experience will actually be historical for those lucky few who have HD sets. They're not available to the public yet, but fans will be able to witness high-definition television on monitors around the ballpark. Nice thing about uh, high-definition television is all you have to do is plug it in. There's no uh, contrast control or tint control or color control. You just get a perfect picture every time. The first thing that any viewer notices when they see the new high-definition monitors the most obvious thing is that you have a wide screen. Instead of the box that you're used to, you have a wide screen. And the thing that's almost as apparent and almost as, as riveting is that you have a much more detailed picture. Um, it's just like watching a movie. It's, it's very detailed, very vivid, much crisper than you can get even with the best television uh, picture today. It's a real commercial broadcast and the first of its kind for a, a Major League Baseball game. So there is a terrific sense of history involved in this. History being made here at the ballpark in Arlington, and I'll tell you what, the thing I noticed about high-definition television is we bring my colleague and teammate Brian Jensen in here. Brian, it made me look 10 years younger. The Whoa, hair I like wasn't that. as gray. The I wrinkles like were gone. That. How about that? Well, I'll, I'll, we're going to like that, I think. Absolutely. The players, though, they're not real sure exactly what to expect, although Kevin Elster did tell me that he hopes it shows the game's difficulty a little bit better, that maybe we see it a little clearer and see the game as they see it, which is a lot tougher than we see it, obviously. But it it is interesting because this is an organization that has gone through several firsts before. The players, however, have always been the subject of that first. This time, they're kind of at odds a little bit, not quite sure what to expect as it all goes on around them. One thing they do know, however, if this is as big as everyone says it's going to be, the media guides, the programs, the things that list the trivia of the future will say the first Major League Baseball game, the first Ranger game on HDTV right here today, and that is another very big first for this franchise. It's, it's amazing how many firsts that I've been associated with my three plus years of Texas Rangers. First interleague game ever started right here at the ballpark. The first 3D. Do we have to wear glasses for that? <laughs> no special glasses? HD TV. High, defini high definition television. Oh, okay. I've heard something about that. Yeah. But uh, explain that to me. That's like looking out of a window. That's, hey, uh, that uh, shot right there is like I'm sitting in the front. See those bad hops in 3D? Back when 
went in the truck yesterday and told me he saw it and said just fantastic stuff you know like you can reach in the t i mean it's 3d it's three-dimensional you almost feel like you can you know it's a hol holographic experience i guess what's the deal there three-dimensional tv <laughs> i think it's great do i have to buy a special tv for that probably all right how about dig how about how about di digital tv is that the same thing or Wow. Uh, yes, I am aware of it. Actually, I got a little glimpse of it yesterday. I went up after I came out of the game and, and saw it. Unbelievable. Yeah, I heard about that. What is it, the high definition choppy? Um, I hadn't had a chance to check it out, but I heard a lot of guys say it's pretty neat. Wow. Would you look better on that than normal TV, you think? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not exactly what you would call a style master, okay? <laughs> We're going to be able to notice a big difference when we see the game. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm, I'm into the high tech kind of thing, but I wasn't aware of that. And it costs five thousand dollars for a set. Wow! So I wonder how many people out there are going to be able to actually appreciate the broadcast. <laughs> not going to be many, huh? It's not going to be in my house. Well, I think that'll be changing sometime in the very near future. Once these players and once we get a chance to see how well this works, Scott. All right, Darren. Thank you very, very much. Four letters to remember: HD TV. Speaking of four letters, when we come back, we'll hear from a fellow with four letters in his name, Skip, as in Skipper. Rangers manager Johnny Oates is next.